Yo, before Tupac died, I was into all of that shit. I didn't switch. I'm from Brooklyn, Brownsville. I didn't switch because he was dissing what they considered the East Coast. I really never really considered him dissing the East Coast. I just thought he was dissing a particular person. That particular person was the Notorious B.I.G. I listened to him too. Both of them, I was, I was rocking their music hard in my crib. I wasn't taking no sides. Um, at the time, I felt like a lot of people in the hood took a side. But when Tupac died, for me, I don't know about other parts of uh, Brooklyn, but in Brownsville, Brooklyn, shit went silent when Tupac died. Tupac died on my birthday. It, it, um, one of my friends, well, not my friends, my um, sister's boyfriend at the time, me and him was in there Saturday and a motherfucker when they came on the radio on Hot 97 and said Tupac passed away. I was really sad. I could say him. I, I could say him. My sister's boyfriend started crying. The hood went silent. I'm talking about Br Brownsville, Brooklyn. Brownsville, Brooklyn. The whole hood went silent. Everybody was sad out there drinking in fucking circles with fucking 40 ounces and stuff. That's when niggas would hang out real hard with the 40 ounces and drunk, dropping, um, drinking those bottles like it was nothing. And everybody was playing Tupac. Dear mama, so many tears. I get around. They was playing that all fucking night. It was quiet. I'm going to tell you something that happened on the September 13th, again, my birthday. The last time it got quiet like that in Brooklyn was 9-11. Think about that. In Brooklyn was Tupac's death for me, that it was silent, and then 9-11 when the towers went down. People who say that the East Coast turned on Tupac, as far as I know, Brownsville, Brooklyn. We were, niggas was fronting like they wasn't feeling them, but when he died, they showed their love. They showed their gratitude. They really know what he, how can I say it? They really felt, felt his demise. We felt it hard. We felt it real hard. And for niggas to say, oh, Tupac ain't the great, Tupac the great. I'm be honest with you, so many um, hip hop legends are the great in their own, in their own. I can't say who's one, two, or three. I can't do that fucking number. Even though some of the recent numbers at number one is kind of bullshit. And I don't care. I live in Brooklyn and I know that's bullshit. How I do gonna go over Nas, Biggie, and Tupac is ridiculous. But I'm not saying no names. Y'all just figure out who I'm talking about. You, you understand what I'm saying? Um... Tupac was like a revolutionary. He was everything. He was like, to me, I really think he had some kind of issue like bipolarism or something like that because he switched up on everything. He touched everything. The good, the bad, the fucking ugly. The thing that gets me, well, got me, is some of the good stuff he got. Like Brenda got a baby. Dear Mama. So many other songs. Tupac touched all, all things. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I can't really think about how I want to say it, but you know what I mean. He touched all emotions. He was an emotional spectrum. He showed it in his songs. Black Panther, revolutionary. Thug, gangster, he was touching every emotion. He was going through a lot. Especially after he got shot, made the nigga go crazy, go, go nuts, manic. When you go through situations like that, you kind of lose a little part of your mind and also thrown in prison for something he did not do, allegedly. Anyway, peace.